look, guys, I just want to make a note of something because this year is the first year that I'm really not organizing the Christmas. And I have graduated to grandma where the oldest adult daughter handles the family Christmas, so to speak. And so that is what I used to do for my mother. I would, um, she would always come to my house for Christmas, except for this uh, one year. So I kind of, I kind of, I like it because I've, I did so many Christmases, so many. And we had a wonderful, we had many wonderful years of Christmas. And uh, it's a lot of work, as you know, and I made a big deal out of it. I, I made a big deal about the food, and we would have these, I'd, we'd get all these special treats and spread them out and eat all day. We're going to still do stuff like that. I mean, my oldest daughter learned from me, you know, uh, the Christmas tradition I taught, which was different, you know, but, you know, similar to, and I adapted my Christmas experience, trying to make a really good, trying to make a really good, um, wonderful time for my kids where there was the least amount of disappointment that the whole thing was over. That's why I would drag it out all day. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And uh, I, I can be savvy, savvy girl, at, you know, when needed. And uh, we had a lot of great times. And we had, we, I made, we just made it special. So we've always loved Christmas because I did not have wonderful Christmases as a kid. I think there were, were I mean, there was a lot of emotions and drama and angst and uh so i tried and did succeed in making beautiful special christmases for the kids growing up so now it's my daughter's turn and you know what i'm okay with it i'm gonna help i'm gonna be the fun grandma and i uh, you know be there to support and enjoy and share and help out and cook or prepare or get stuff and uh, make it special, make it fun, you know, just make it wonderful. I have a grandson, so I'm extremely blessed, and um, this is a whole new phase of my life. I'm at the beginning of this whole new phase, and I'm awesome. I'm down with it. It's awesome. It's a great phase. I like being, I like being older, guys. It's, it's wonderful. You activate your wisdom codes, and when you have hot flashes, those are actually you activating your wisdom codes, and you should embrace it. And then, and let it deepen your, your, your cell connections within yourself and, and your endocrine system, your pineal gland, your pituitary gland, your hypothalamus gland. I'm not a doctor. And you connect the glands, your adrenals. You connect, connect the glands in a healthy, positive way all throughout your body. And you start to master and understand how to control these hormones and pheromones and chemicals that every single body has that, that are, exist in the whole world. The human body has them all. And you're, you're in a body with all those chemicals and hormones and pheromones and chromones running through your body. You can learn to control those things and, and have them be, be used to your will. Uh, in a positive way for the multiverse. So what's wrong with that, guys? It's a great opportunity. We've just been poisoned and toxined and beaten and abused, and now I think we're getting free of all that, don't you? Are we in the photon belt? Love you guys. Thanks for objecting to bullshit with me. I really appreciate it, and thanks for joining Team Rose, and I think it's exciting that we're on to our new timeline, guys. I feel it. I also, I also can tell I'm going to be getting back to my ship soon, and I'm excited about that too because I love being on I love my ship <laughs> I really do and I can tell that it's coming and uh, the, these lessons were very very tough but they were needed because part of it's about humbling down and understanding the pain of others maybe the pain we cause ourselves you know we have to think about that take responsibility for our own actions right love you guys happy holidays big kiss